Today I have got another AliExpress package and this time it's supposed to be Machinist X99 MR9 motherboard. Let's take it out and take a look what I have got. As we can see the seller did not provide any bubble wrap and the cardboard box is just wrapped with this plastic bag and that's it. Of course the Chinese must add game in their motherboard name even though it has nothing to do with gaming it's just an X99 motherboard. Here we have some sort of a warranty seal, let me try to focus on it and uh, show you. I don't know why they are starting to add this one, maybe some people on AliExpress were cheating and sending damaged products back, but anyway, I'm gonna open it so we can take a look what's inside. And inside the box we also do not have any bubble wrap. Here is another layer of cardboard, which is uh, rather safe and rather nice actually. Before this I have got multiple different machinist motherboards and they had only single cardboard layer. This time we have box inside the box, so it shall be fairly safe. Inside we have the IO shield as usual, a single SATA cable and the motherboard itself. Let's take the motherboard out and take a look. On the other side of the plastic bag we are getting another some sort of a warranty seal, also not sure why Chinese are adding it. Maybe because uh, they want to make better quality assurance or something and this is giving them indication that this particular motherboard was tested well, I'm not sure. So here is our motherboard. As you can see it is made with black and green colors and the motherboard itself is extremely similar to Machinist X99 RS9 where we have only like this side of the motherboard in MATX form factor. This one is MATX extended, so it is not full-size ATX, but it's slightly bigger. We're getting the second PC Express X16 slot, one more PC Express X1 over here. And let's look here. It seems like, let me try to focus it seems like the second PC Express X16 slot is actually connected as X16, but of course I will have to validate that. On the motherboard we have four memory slots for DDR4. The chipset here is B85 or similar because we have only two USB 3 ports, the rest are USB 2 ports. And over here I believe these green ones are SATA 3 and these black ones are SATA 2. We're also getting this annoying speaker, then this is supposed to be a removable BIOS chip micro scheme, but it's not present, so let me try to find where is the BIOS chip. Okay, so the BIOS chip is soldered over here, and actually this might not be the BIOS chip, this might be something else, so I'm not sure. Anyway, the most disappointing part is probably the VRAM, I will try to focus here because the VRAM is exactly the same as Machinist X99 RS9. This means we are having only uh, three phases with the doublers and with pretty pathetic MOSFETs. Now it's time to remove this cooler installation bracket and check the CPU socket pins to make sure that there is nothing bent, nothing damaged. The plastic cover is removed and I see that there is some slight a socket pin damage or socket pin band. I'm not quite sure if it is visible on the camera and actually on the camera it looks to be okay. Maybe it's some sort of a dirt which I see with my eye and it's not visible on the camera but it's supposed to be somewhere there a pin which looks slightly different than the rest. Anyway, I hope that the motherboard works because I have already exceeded the return time of the package so I do not have any option to return this motherboard and if it doesn't work it means I will have to order another one to be able to make a review. If you're interested to see full review of this Machinist X99 MR9A motherboard then follow me on my main YouTube channel. There I will test this motherboard with the different CPUs and also I will try to use uh, Turbo Boost Unlock with the Xeon E5 2690V3. Of course I will also test the VRAM of this motherboard. Thanks for watching, bye bye.